Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. So, uh, let us continue about the dimension. So, first of all, note that as I said, I, we will use the fact that this polynomial ring in several variables over a field, this is noetherian. And therefore, any algebraic set V, Vk, A, this is intersection of finitely many hypersurfaces vf1 intersection 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 vk fm finitely many hypersurfaces not only that this ideal a has a primary decomposition because in a nitherin ring every ideal has a primary decomposition that means this ideal a is written as the intersection of finitely many primary ideals Q R where Q1 to Q R these are primary ideals this is why this is why in fact um, neither have proved primary decomposition for ideals in a noetherian ring and their radicals are then they are when you say primary ideals uh, corresponding to the p1 to pr are their radicals these are the then one calls this qi to be pi primary and therefore when you apply v and look at the properties of v then therefore vk of a will become V of Q1 intersection intersection QR but then this will become union so this will be V of Q1 union union V of QR but these QIs are the radicals are radical of QI is PI and their V doesn't depend on the radical, therefore this will be V of P1 union union V of PR. Therefore, if one wants to study this, I wrote V, so this is VK everywhere. Therefore, if one wants to study this V, I have to study this union. And therefore, the dimension of this will be the soup because that was our property too. So therefore, and also no, this is therefore what we proved is every algebraic set in K n is a finite union of algebraic sets of type V, K, P where P is a prime ideal in, in the ring Kx1 to Xn. But these, these are precisely these are precisely the irreducible algebraic sets. This needs little proof but I am not going to prove it. You take it as exercise. Therefore, what we have proved is every algebraic set is a finite union of irreducible subsets. Alright. Therefore, 2 says so we have proved therefore V algebraic set 
is a union of let me call it v1 union 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 vr where this v1 to vr are irreducible algebraic sets and therefore our property 2 says that at least one of them will have the same dimension as v so dimension of the property says that dimension v should be equal to the supremum of dimensions of v is and therefore this is a supremum over finitely many v1 to vr and therefore supremum has to attain therefore dimension of v will be equal to dimension of one of them let's say v let me call it v not and this num oh, v not for some irreducible subset of v if dimension v not is positive then the property 4 says then by property 4 there exist an irreducible algebraic set v1 of v0 proper so that the dimension drop by 1 such that dimension of v1 equal to dimension of v0 minus 1 that was the property 4 all right so uh, therefore if d was the dimension of v so therefore if d is the dimension of v we continue we continue this argument so so that means we can find a chain then there exist a chain v0 properly contained in v1 properly contained in properly contained in v d of irreducible algebraic sets of v algebraic subsets of v such that at each stage dimension is dropped by 1 such that dimension of vi equal to d minus i for each i from 0 to uh, 1 to or uh, 0 to d conversely if i have a sequence on the other hand given a sequence sequence v0 contained in v1 contained in contained in equal to vr of irreducible close subsets of v with vi of course irreducible close and part of the irreducible close is vi is are not equal to empty sets then dimension of v should be bigger equal to dimension of v not because all these are contained in v and at each stage the dimension is dropping by 1 so dimension of v not will be at least r see this will be drops by 1 so this at least dimension of v not will be at least r this is by by the property 2 and 3 
so it is therefore we can make the following definition so this allows us to make the following definition and what is the definition so definition the dimension of an algebraic set v contained in k power n is dim v this is a definition i am making sup of r r is in n such that there exists a sequence v0 contained in v1 contained in contained in vr of irreducible algebraic sets algebraic subsets of v that's it so dimension is the supremum of the chain of the length of the chains of irreducible subsets contained in v that is what we come to the conclusion that dimension should be this and if we define this it satisfy the the desired properties once we have this and here also note that when we, we should make this convention supremum of empty set is minus 1 this is actually not a convention but it is a force convention because if you take an empty set in natural numbers what is the supremum we should put that to be minus 1 so once you have defined this it is easy to check that it satisfies the properties 2 and 3 2 3 4 so now easy to check easy to check that this definition has properties 2 3 and 4 we have only assumed 2 3 and 4 and come to this conclusion that the dimension should be this one that is the supremum of the lengths of the chains of the irreducible closed subsets contained in v and now when i want to translate this to algebraic definition now how do i translate to algebra so translate this into algebraic definition how do we translate so that means i have to translate a chain so v0 which is irreducible therefore it is vk of some prime ideal p0 and then containing v1 v1 is irreducible therefore it is vk of some prime ideal p1 and so on and then this vk of prime ideal pr the chain i have given they are irreducible subsets of the given v v was vk of a <coughs> right and how do i come to how do i recover these prime ideals that is very easy that is in nulschen that's hilbert precisely proved that if i take ideal of this apply ik to this chain we get what do we get i k of this will be radical of a so that is a i am assuming a is a radical ideal so when i apply i k i get back my a now this inclusion will get reverse so this will be contained in i k of this that is p0 p0 contained in this p1 contained in this contained in pr 
and what is pi is pi is are prime ideals where pi is are prime ideals in the polynomial ring so this will give you what is called a cruel dimension of k x1 to xn modulo this ideal a because if i call this ring as r the cruel dimension in the lectures how did i define i look at the chains of the prime ideals here and take their lengths and take the supremum but now the chain has become the reverse way because our these operators i and v they are inclusion reversing operations and therefore i got the definition of a cruel dimension so therefore cruel cruel motivated by this in general define what is the cruel dimension of a ring so let me recall that so using this cruel defined more generally cruel dimension of an arbitrary commutative ring so what is the definition so definition let a be a commutative ring then dimension of a is by definition sup r in n such that there exist a chain of length r so p0 containing containing pr of prime ideals in a this supremum is called the cruel dimension of the ring because the cruel has the cruel was the first to define this and also note that if a is zero ring that is equivalent to saying there is no prime ideal there therefore the supremum is supremum is taken over empty set so therefore in this case one puts dimension of a equal to minus 1 this is a definition if you want so all this was all this used the motivation which came from hilbert nullschen darts so therefore hilbert nullschen darts hns this is the real real cornerstone this is the cornerstone of algebraic geometry is the starting point all right so uh, this uh, so dimension of the, with this therefore dimension of variety dimension of algebraic set v algebraic set in k power n this is nothing but dimension of the coordinate ring of v that is you take kx1 to xn and go modulo the ideal of v i k of v that is the um, definition all right now having defined this uh, the question is how do we compute this this um, this definition of a supremum of lengths of the prime ideals this is looks quite 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 complicated so therefore uh, can we say that now the uh, definition is 
how do we compute this so later in the course so from this definition it is not even clear that if i take v algebraic set in k power n algebraic set whether the dimension of v is finite or bounded by n this is not at all clear okay so to do this what one does is the following there are uh, uh, two more concepts of uh, dimension uh, two more uh, numbers so one is two um uh, to v so the property 5 so note that property 5 says that if i have um v given then i can find a hyperplane hypersurface so that v intersection h has if d is positive if the dimension of v is positive then i can find a hypersurface so that this dimension drops by 1 and keep doing this so that means after finitely many steps i will come so that the dimension becomes zero that means i can so h will be so keep doing this so h will be given by single polynomial so this is v of f v of f1 and so on so after d stages it will come uh, the dimension will become zero so that means what this means algebraically the following so v has the coordinate ring that is k x1 to xn modulo a and this intersection operation means when i go to algebra it will become ideal generated by the sum ideal so this will become so v intersection h1 will the coordinate ring will be this ring k x1 to xn modulo ideal generated by a and that f1 and this ring has dimension d this ring will have dimension d minus 1 and we keep doing this d stages that means what that means we can find a polynomials f1 to f d definitely because it might happen the dimension become zero so at most it can go to d d stages so these are we can find the polynomials in d polynomials in x1 to xn such that when i go mod x1 to xn mod ideal generated by a and these polynomials f1 to fd this dimension of this ring should become zero so note that when when the dimension of the ring is zero means what so analyze this dimension of a zero means that means the only chain should have length zero that means sup of the chains so the sup will this will be equal to zero that means at most there is only one prime ideal there is no other prime ideal contained in that so this means the first consequence is every non zero every zero every prime ideal every prime ideal in a is maximal because we have a prime ideal p it itself should be maximal if it is not maximal it is contained in the maximal ideal but then the supremum will increase so therefore every prime ideal is maximal so such rings are called artinian so dimension 0 dimension a equal to 0 and a noetherian these rings are precisely called artinian artinian rings so this gives us a dimension this gives us a definition of chevalier dimension 
This is Shivalya dimension. So what is it for arbitrary um, uh, uh, local ring? So also I in, in between one should have remarked that if I want to study uh, dimension of arbitrary algebraic sets, I could study dimension at a point. And this means, this means you take the coordinate ring that is kx1 to xn modulo that ideal ik of v and this point will correspond to the maximal ideal. So localize this at that maximal ideal because maximal ideals are the last in that chain always. So therefore, if you want to study this, it is enough to study this and therefore that will reduce study of dimension to the dimension of the local rings. So, so reduce the study to local rings. So that means what dimension of A, this is same thing as dimension uh, soup dimension of A localized at M where M is a maximal ideal in A. Once you have done this then you can define Chevalier dimension. Then Chevalier dimension of a local ring if A is local Chevalier dimension is the infimum. So that is also denoted by um, S A this is by definition infimum of uh, R such that there exist A1 to AR elements in the maximal ideal M of A because A is local with maximal ideal M such that A mod if I go mod A1 to ideal generated by A1 to AR, this ring is RT. We know this, this thing exists because we have proved it for algebraic sets that we have such uh, cut successively by the RFI surfaces by using the property 5 and therefore the Chevalier dimension exists. And then one proves the dimension theorem says dimension theorem says that the cruel dimension equal to Chevalier dimension equal to degree of the Hilbert Samuel polynomial. So this is what the precisely the dimension theorem. This is proved in the lectures. So I will not repeat what is the definition of a Hilbert Samuel polynomial, etc. But this gives a fairly good ideas of a dimension concept. So couple of remarks here that we know dimension of a field. So some examples. Dimension of a field. Field K, this should be 0 because the only prime ideal is 0 and nobody else. So, therefore, the soup is 0. Dimension of a PID, dimension of Z is 1 because the chain is 0 is the prime ideal and then uh, ideal generated by the prime number that is prime ideal and that is all, no more because non zero prime ideals here are maximal. So, the dimension of Kx is also 1. Also, if I take the power series ring over a field in one variable, that dimension is also 1 because it is a PID. In fact, this is a better PID than this. So, similarly, dimension of the polynomial ring, this will correspond to dimension of Kn, which is n, and so on. Now, uh, this dimension theorem will allow us to compute dimension of 
more rings and also it shows that dimension of a local ring is always finite because so this is for a local ring noetherian local because it's a degree of some polynomial and therefore it is finite and uh, normally in all these uh, uh, subjects uh, especially commutative algebra one usually assumes the rings are noetherian because it is not worth studying so much non noetherian rings because they don't correspond to any geometric objects therefore one usually assumes the rings are noetherian and with this i will stop this lecture thank you very much